cold heart is alive. I appreciate you for rating and subscribing. Uh, holla at me. We're going to get together. It's a nation of us making this music, so let's make great music together. Uh, you know what it do. So let's get to it. We'll talk later. All right, for right now, what we're doing, we got fake processors that I designed. I right, have some plugins, whatever you want to call them, patches. I'm going to do a refill and throw some refills out later, so I'm going to be for sale. For, but for right now, this is what's going on. We'll talk about what's happening later. You should catch the just of how I'm doing this after a while. If you haven't by now, just watch. <laughs> That's Reason Soul School Memphis. Okay, now that was all of them. Let's break it down to just the drums. Are you? I'm gonna let you hear them. I always backtrack and second guess myself. I guess we're gonna let you hear it all through. The mover. I'm going to let you hear it through the tape machine. Alright. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what these four knobs and four buttons are capable of. On the mover, uh, it's, a lot of, it's a lot going on, but not really. You know, it's simple, really, once you start digging into it. But I created the face based on Frankenstein theory. Like, it would take this many buttons, knobs, and, you know, you'd be a matrix of things to create what's happening with just these four buttons and knobs, right? So, I got a map to my controller again. Check it out. All right, first, let's, uh, first knob is called push. Let's push it. I don't really hear anything. It's a subtle actual effect that you would use in a track. That's what this is designed for. Check it out. So you see, it's kind of going down. They kind of mirror images of each other. So once I show you the second one, then I show you the insides. All right. So let's go to the second one. More of a tape machine feel. That's what I was going for. Oh, I'm sorry. I always forget to do this too, don't I? Here we go. Back to the move. I was trying to give you some views so you can watch it. I'm not watching it right now to see how many extra dBs you might be getting. A lot of times you get one dB and it'll be a way bigger sound. Two dBs. All right, let's go. Love this button all in. Smash it. It's like throw it in the trash. Check this out, space. This was designed for drums, really. So now we're gonna go inside. Bam! Nothing major. <laughs> Creating a major sound though. But when you watch it in action, 
It's beautiful to me. I love it. It's like... We're not looking at that one. I'm sorry about that. Okay, yes, we are. Let's imply it. And watch what happens. So if you pay attention here, what's going on is when I push this button, you get an amazing change in our compressor. You see the compressor jumping. Two totally different settings almost. All right, so um, this one, see what's happening here. We're watching it. Bam, bam, bam. See here. It's there. Okay. And the EQ is kind of peculiar. Basically, it's a lot of motion causing what I think analog equipment counter does. It mimics it. This method of modulation is the key to me to getting a organic fat sound. Once I learned about CVs, let's flip that over. CVs and all that. I ain't even going to explain how I got the sounds in and out to make them all both go through there. That's simple, though. So, we pretty much wrapped that up, man. Huh? You know, I would have liked to went through each one and show you, but you kind of hope you kind of got the feel of where we was going with that. With that one, the horn, just to say. It's an amazing situation, watch. Yeah, so you feel I'm going. Just basically making those four rotaries, rotaries and buttons do quite a lot. Because I'm thinking that's kind of what's happening in a way in the real hardware and behind a lot of plugins. It's like one or two knobs, the one knob thing with other companies and stuff. It's just doing a whole lot with one knob. The reasons allows you to set up what you want to do. You throw a flanger in there. Like, I have a lot of weird designs I use in tracks that, like, this, like I said, this is just a, a, a cut down version of that one. It, I'll kind of see that's pretty much just one thing it's doing. All right, here's just threshold and um, attack, a ratio or something mixed in there. Your body resonance, yeah. damage, you know, cut the scream off, cut the scream off. But um, you could really, I, I want to say this, I want to say this. If you've got into the combinator and start working with this modulation matrix, yet yeah, do it. Take time. Go for. I'll break down the combinator if you don't know the combinator and try to make it easier because it confused me for a while and I just was like, eh, I don't need all that. Give me a stock sound for reasons. Let's roll. Until I realized it's something about taking Thor and Maelstrom and, and, and uh, Subtractor and building those sounds. Of course, when Khan came, I was just building my own drums. Just stop it. I can build my own drums. It's, that was mind blowing for me to link the pads and just create ignorant samples. Ignorant samples. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all into my world. I'm trying to. So uh, my one thing I want to shoot out with uh, like my wish list for Reason Seven, if you could say, would be the names. Cause see, this is my method. I'm gonna give it to you. I take the track. I say as if I'm gonna save it. I copy this. Council, and I go over there and I paste it. Bam. Then I have it because really I, I would I want to know because a lot of times I'm like I'm going to these are my go-to instruments are the instruments that I remember this from that track, but based on the name because if I'm if I'm naming it guitar, drums, uh, you know, air because I don't violin. What am I naming some violin for? You know, cello. I don't do that. I'll name it what it comes to me before I name it the correct name anyway. But the point is, if I'm constantly going to these files, redoing music out of these same folders, like I'm making favorites, it should just name it. 
when I bring it in, name it, or give me that option where it'll just automatically name it whatever the patch is named. Holla at you. Cold Heart is Alive. Long as tutorial today.